friends, do you know what's 65 into 65? Well, I do. It's 4,225. And how did I know that? That's what I'm about to teach you. I'm going to teach you five tricks that will make you better at multiplication than you were before. <music> Trick one, everyone knows this, but we're going to learn how to multiply with 10. If you don't know already, let me teach it to you really quick. So, if we have the number 13, for example, and we want to multiply it by 10, we would take out the 0 and do 13 times 1, which is 13, and then bring the 0 back over here, so it will be 130. But what if there is more than one zero, like 64 times 100? Then we would do basically the same thing. We would take out the zeros, do 64 times 1, which is 64, and add both of the zeros back again. So it would be 6,400. Then you can say, use the same technique and multiply any number that ends in a zero, like this. Let's use 24. 24 into 20 equals 24 into 2, which is 48. And then you add the zero and it's 480. Trick number two, how to multiply by 11. Now, most people think that's really easy, like 11 times two is 22, but there's another trick. If you want to do 11 times 232. So the trick is, first let's start from the ones place. Copy the number down, below it, so it's easy. Then take these two numbers and then add them together, which equals five. Then take these two numbers and add them together, which also equals five. Then take the last number and copy it down. So that would be 2,555. Let's try it with another number. Let's try a slightly different number, like 56. Let's use the same trick. So we would write six over here, then five plus six over here, which is 11. Well, if there's a, a double digit number, you write, you use carry forward, like you use in addition. You write one over here, and then copy the other 10 over here. After carry forward, you add these two together, which will be six. So your answer is 616. What a simple trick. Trick number three, how to square any number ending in five. I'm going to choose the number 35 to start off with. First, let's look at the three. You need to multiply three by the next number. So the next number is four. So three times four is 12. Now let's look at the five. Any square ending in five always ends with the number 25. So we know that here it's gonna be 25. So the answer is 1,225. Now let me take the number I told you in the beginning, 65. So we're going to do 65 square. So six, the next number is seven. So it's gonna be six times seven equals 42. Now ending in five always ends 25. So the answer is 4,225, like I said in the beginning. The same trick can be used in larger numbers, like a three-digit number. I'm going to use 205. So the first 
next number is 20. So we're going to write the next number is 20, 21. So 20 into 21. Now let's use the trick I showed you in the beginning. How to multiply te numbers with zero in the end. So we're going to cross off the zero, then 21 into two is 42, then add the zero equals 420. And the last digit is five. So we always write 25 in the end. So our answer is 42,025. On to trick number four. Trick four, let's extend this idea so we can square any number in the world. So let's square 21. So first we need to find the nearest 10. The nearest 10 to 21 is 20. And between 21 and 20, there's a difference of minus one. Because 21 minus one equals 20. Since we subtracted one here, we're going to add the one here to get another number. Now 21 plus one is 22. Now we need to take and multiply them. 22 times 20. Remember the first trick we did multiplying by 10. So we do, we forget about this. And then we do 22 times two, which is 44. Then we add a zero, so it'll be 440. We take the number here and here, which is one, and square it. One square is one. So we do 440 plus one, which is 441. The same trick can be very powerful when you're squaring numbers near 100. For example, if we use 97, then if we go up plus 3, which is 100, then we have to go minus 3, which is 94. Now we take these two numbers and it's very easy to multiply them together. You just have to do 94 into 1, which is 94, and then add two zeros. So that will be 9,400. Now you take 3 and square it, which is 9. And your answer is 9,409. Trick number 5. How to multiply numbers with the same base. I'm going to use 12 into 40. As you can see, they both have the same base, which is 10. But on top of that, they also have a plus two for 12 and a plus four for 40. Step one is to add either four plus 12 or 2 plus 40. Either way, then they equal to 60. Then you have to multiply that by 10 because they have the same base. 16 into 10, which is 160. Then you have to take both of the numbers on the top, which were extra, and multiply them, which is 8. Then add 8 to the sum you got before. So the answer should be 168. If that was a bit complicated, don't worry. Let me explain it again with different numbers. Let's multiply 17 into 19. As you can see, they both have the same base, which is 10. Then they have a plus seven, and a plus nine. Now, if you remember, we have to add these two numbers or these two numbers. Either way, it's 26. Then you have to multiply it by 10 and it's 260. Now you have to take these 
these two numbers and multiply them. That is 63. When you add them both together and you'll get 323. That was simple. Let's try with another base. I'm going to try base 20. Let's do 24 into 28. They both have the same base, which is 20. Over here, it's plus 4. And over here, it's plus 8. Now let's add these two or these two. Either way, it's 32. Then you multiply it by 20. 32 times 2 is 64. Then you add the 0 and it's 640. Now you have to take these two numbers and multiply them, which is 32. Then you add them together, which is 672. square 42,025 well do you know what this is learn with Diva to learn more math together please subscribe to my channel and keep learning let's try a slightly different number like <laughs> the number is actually <laughs>